Hello, I'm Diane Arbor, JBWS's Executive Director from 1980 through 1997. The early years at JBWS were very exciting and extremely challenging. We were part of a new national movement to address and raise awareness of domestic violence and to assist victims and their children. But where to begin? Our budget of $88,000 was not nearly sufficient to staff and serve up to 10 families at a time. The facility was an utter disaster. The staffing was inadequate. Thanks to the county's Department of Human Services and subsequently the United Way, we began to move forward. I'll never forget the day that Dean Gallo, who was then a member of the U.S. House of Representatives Appropriations Committee, called and, and asked me, Diane, do you need any money? I laughed and I replied, of course, Dean, I always need money. That phone call resulted in an almost $1 million housing and urban development grant, which got us on our way for funding our goal to open transitional housing. I am so proud of JBWS's continued growth and accomplishments. JBWS continues to impact the lives of victims and their families in a positive way. And yet there remains so much work to be done. Thank you for all your involvement and your support of JBWS. And JBWS, thank you for giving me the opportunity to work with and learn from so many talented individuals. Thank you and happy 45th anniversary. Good evening, I am Mary Bachman and I had the honor to serve as the executive director at JBWS for about 10 years beginning in 1999. Having spent nearly 25 years working at at and I found my transition to JBWS to be the most challenging and yet rewarding career shift I could possibly make. Whenever I had doubts about what was needed, I could stay refocused through conversations with staff, or perhaps even more easily by looking out the window of my office and seeing the children playing in the playground. Watching those kids who came into the shelter, barely leaving their mom's side, to later laughing and swinging in the backyard was all I needed to know about how to pr prioritize our work. Collectively, the JBWS team accomplished so much during my tenure. Here are just a few examples. We transitioned from capital campaign fundraising back to that design for operational funding. On a programming note, we successfully developed counseling and educational programs within the Transitional Living Program. We enhanced our Dating Violence Prevention Program creating a Girl Scout interest badge and offering theatrical performances to students. We expanded our outreach to the Latina community and updated the kitchen and the teen room in our safe house. One of my special moments as executive director was being invited to the White House when President George Bush unveiled the family violence prevention stamp. I am honored to be a small part of the incredible achievement and success that was and is JBWS. 45 years is an amazing milestone. And I would love to believe that within the next 45 years, we could close our doors. But in reality, that is not likely to happen. So I remain extremely grateful for JBWS and its professionalism. I know that with the support you provide as staff members, volunteers, and donors, this agency will always be available for those seeking safety and hope. For that, I am most grateful. Thank you. Good evening, and thank you for having me. I had the privilege to serve as JBWS's Executive Director from 2007 to 2018, and it was a privilege. 
As I think about my years with JBWS, I can't help but remember the Great Recession. Really? One year on the job and the market crashes? I was grateful all over again for the financial foundation that Diane, Mary, and the prior boards of directors had built. And so thankful for the organization's generous donors. To increase awareness, we launched the Yellow Card campaign for teens, and we reached them in record numbers. To strengthen and expand victim services, we worked to improve access by ensuring that all programs had Spanish-speaking staff. We, along with many others in the field, acknowledged the need and opened our doors to male victims. And perhaps the most significant addition during my tenure was that in partnership with the County of Morris, the prosecutor, the sheriff, the police, the courts, legal services, and many other collaborators, and with significant federal funding and donor investment, we opened the Morris Family Justice Center. And through it all, I had the pleasure of working with so many talented, dedicated professionals from within the organization and from our collaborators. I look forward to the next chapters. Thank you very much.